Hey guys, um, it's Jenna um, at Long Island Alzheimer's and Dementia Center. Uh, I do in respite and I'm just gonna wait for more people to come on and figure out how to get the comments because I'm on my phone again and I have my computer, so I'm just gonna do that while I'm waiting for people to come in. So, we'll see. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, we got a viewer. <laughs> hey, let's see. All right, I'm gonna try to find I had this problem last time where I couldn't see the comments at the same time. All right, so I'm um, just bear with me for a minute. Up oh, here it is. Okay, cool. All right. Okay, cool. All right. Hi guys. Um, we'll wait. We'll still wait for more people because there's only three of us here, but. In the meantime, I'll just explain what we're gonna do today. Um, I have this really cool book of 399 games, puzzles, and trivia. I don't know why they don't have 400, but I don't know, I think 399 just sounds more fun, so maybe that's what it is. Um, and let's see. Hey, Eugene. How are you? Hope you're doing well. I hope everyone's staying safe, enjoying their time to themselves and all of that. Um, anyway, <laughs> I have so many post-its because I was just so excited about all of these games that we have and activities that we can do together. So if you're watching it live, then feel free to comment and participate live. And if you're watching this later on, you could always pause it until you get the answer and then you can play it and then, you know, give yourself some more time to have the answers ready and everything. So the game that we're going to do right now, it's supposed to be helping for more of long term memory. So we're going to do that for, for the beginning of today. Um, and it's going to be famous critters. So it's gonna be animals that we would know. We would know from the movie, show, cartoon, commercial, wherever it may be. Um, a comic book strip, you know, anything. So the first one, the first question is, it's the movie, it's a film, Bambi. So what animal is Bambi? Anybody know? I'll give you guys some time to, uh, to think about it. And again, it is a film. I believe Disney, I believe. I don't I don't want to say that and be wrong. <laughs> but I know it was a very very sad, very sad film. Um what animal is Bambi? I'll give you guys some more time. All right, I'll give this one away. <laughs> I'll give it away. Um, if you don't have the answer yet and you're not watching it live, just hit pause and uh, when you're ready to get the answer, then press play again. So Bambi is a deer. Bambi is a deer. Um, I definitely have to rewatch that soon because, you know, it took a very long time to rewatch that. Very sad. Um, the second one is Daffy. Which animal is Daffy? He has been in Looney Tunes. Deer or doe? Yes, okay, that, yes. Um, Bambi is a deer, yes. Doe is also a good a good uh, guess. Definitely. Definitely. Let me. Who's Daffy? D 
Daffy was in Looney, to Looney Tunes. He took an, he made an appearance in a bunch of different shows and cartoons and all of that. But Daffy, who is Daffy? What animal is he? Yes, Helen, I can see you. Yes. It might come in a little bit late, I, um, but I see you for sure. Anyone know what animal Daffy is? Daffy Duck! Daffy is a duck! Daffy is a duck. Very fun, funny duck. Um, the fourth one. This one is from the Flintstones. So, who's Dino? Who's Dino from the Flintstones? What animal is he? He's big. I believe he's purple. I believe he's purple. I could be wrong. I could be mistaken. Um, but he's from the Flintstones. Anybody know? His name is Dino. These types of animals are extinct now. Daffy Duck, yes, Lauren, yes. I, I don't know if I'm getting these. Uh, yes, yes, Daffy Duck. I hope you're doing well, Lauren. I miss you. I miss you so much. I'll give some time uh, to catch up. I think I started a little bit early, so I'll give some time to just... But who's Dino? He is an animal that is extinct now. They have movies about it. Um, he is from the Flintstones. And he is a dinosaur. A dinosaur. Which is really interesting because I looked it up before this lesson here. And I had, I had no idea that the Flintstones even had a dinosaur. And it's funny because I remember watching the Flintstones as a kid. So how did I not remember that? Very, very interesting. Very interesting. Um, okay, so the next one is from the film Flipper. Who is Flipper? What animal is Flipper? Anyone know what animal flipper is? Again, if you're not watching live, you could just pause and then answer when you're ready and um and then you'll have the answer. Uh so flipper is a dolphin. Um I was confused at first. I originally thought it was a whale, but no, dolphin. Dolphin flipper is a dolphin. Um this one this one is my favorite because I can't give it away. Because last time I gave all the answers away. This time I'm being very aware to not give away anything. So what animal is from, it's an animated series. It, it could be a cartoon and his name is Garfield. He's the orange animal that I almost just said, but held my tongue, held my tongue. Um, what animal is Garfield? He's a redhead, which I personally resonate with. And he's on comic strips in the morning in the newspaper. He is on the TV screen in the cartoon, in the cartoon. They've created him in so many different types of dynamics, you know, this, this character. Um, but anyone know what animal he is? He 
he is a cat. He's a cat. Um, which, personally, are my favorite animals, besides tigers, but those are just big cats. So, cats. Um, but Garfield the cat. Yes, all right. Um, this one is a very interesting. I've never heard of this one before, but I'm sure you all have. Uh, so, it's a film, and it is... Uh, Let's see. They made it in... Did they make this in 04? No, never mind. They didn't make it in 04. It is... His name is Harvey. Harvey, his name is. Um, it is a comedy drama that's been made in the 50s. So, does anybody know what name? Har well, the name is Harvey. But anyone know the name of the animal that Harvey is? Harvey the rabbit. The rabbit. Harvey the rabbit. I didn't know that. I personally never seen this. But Harvey the rabbit. Rabbit. Sounds like a cool guy. Um, the next one is Moby Dick. Anybody know what animal Moby Dick is? There was the novel was made in fifty one and then they had made the movie adaptation already a few years after that in fifty six. So, uh anybody know uh what animal Moby Dick is? I personally remember reading this in in I think middle school or early high school. I don't remember, but I remember Moby Dick, especially. because um, it was a very very interesting um very interesting one. Anybody know what animal Moby Dick is? Again, if you're not watching live, just just pause it. Dad's favorite book. Oh, that's nice. Yes, it is a good book. It's a very nice book. I'm glad to hear that. So does anyone know what animal it is? Well, it's in the water, so it's critters. So I have to stop saying animals. So maybe that's where uh, I'm, I'm messing up here. So it's not necessarily, I guess, an animal, because it's in the water, but this is not my forte. So I'm just going to stick to the book, which says critters. So which critter is Moby Dick? It is a whale of a, of a tail. Yes, Lauren, it is a whale of a tail. Yes, thank you, thank you. Yes. Can I see, Helen, I cannot, I can see you now, but I can't see your answers. Maybe later when I go back, I'll see all these answers that I haven't been seeing. I don't, I don't know. Um, I haven't been seeing everybody's answers. So I'm sorry if you're saying answers and I'm not acknowledging them. I'm just not getting them up to speed at this moment. Um, later, when I look back, they'll be there probably. So it's always good to just keep commenting anyway, even if I can't see it. But um, at this moment, I can't really see everything. Um, I see Lauren's whale. So I'm going to move on to the next one. And that's where I got Flipper confused before. I thought that he that he was the whale, but really, Moby Dick. Um, this one, Mr. Ed. It's a comedy show. There's been six seasons of it. And his name is Mr. Ed. Anybody know what critter or animal or, you know, what form of life um, Mr. Ed is? I personally didn't know um, until this book enlightened me. But... Um, it was made in 61, and there were six seasons, and it was a comedy, and uh, his name is Mr. Ed. So I'll give some time, and then just give the answer, because I don't know if I'm getting all the answers, so, um, but, let's see. But again, if you're not watching live, you just pause it. So Mr. Ed is a horse. He's a horse. Um... 
which is very interesting. Horses are very cool, very beautiful creatures. Um, all right, so this one is, his name is Rin Tin Tin. I don't know if I said that right, but that's how it's spelt. Um, and he's from the adventures of Rin Tin Tin. And there's a nickname for him, which is Rinty. Anybody know what animal Rin Tin Tin is? Again, I don't know if I'm saying it right, but I'm giving it my best shot. A talking horse. Yes, a talking horse. Yes, that was Mr. Ed. Mr. Ed. What animal is Rin Tin Tin? I'll slow it down just because I'm getting the responses like a lot leader german shepherd yes and that's very specific too i was gonna ask that after it's a dog and then i was gonna ask what type of dog german shepherd you got it you got it the next animal or critter that we have is rudolph rudolph uh you know everybody knows rudolph from everywhere he's a hot commodity and yeah, during Christmas time, uh, gives hopes hope to many. <laughs> a horse is a horse, of course. <laughs> oh man, let's see. Anyone know who Rudolph is? Red, red nose reindeer. Yes, a red nose reindeer. Lights up the whole sky. Help, very, what an underdog story Rudolph is. Giving inspiration to many. Love it. Love Rudolph. Love Rudolph. The reindeer. Um, the next one is from Charlie Brown. Um, Snoopy. Who is Snoopy? What animal is Snoopy? Anyone know? <laughs> exactly, exactly. What animal is Snoopy from Charlie Brown? Snoopy is a dog. Snoopy is a dog. Anybody know what kind of dog Snoopy is? What kind of dog is Snoopy? He's an adorable one. He's a beagle. He is a beagle. Snoopy is a beagle. All right. That is, we finished it. We finished this lesson here. So let me go to the next one that I posted because there was many. Beagle. Yes. Yes, Brittany. All right. Let's see. I'm very indecisive and I put way too many post-its so I'm gonna look right now and see which one is good they're all good that one I don't know the answers to all right all right so this one is gonna be finish the sayings so we're gonna finish the saying you know they're they're familiar uh, proverbs and sayings We'll give it a try. All right. So beauty is only, and there's two words after this. Beauty is only.
Beauty is only skin. What? Sorry, I'm just jumping from one game to the other. I didn't really give too much time um, to get resituated, take a breath, doing it, just jumping from game to game right now, you know? Um, deep, yes. Ah, yes. Perfect. Beauty is only skin deep. Yes, thank you. Um, so the next one is birds of a feather. What are the next two words after birds of a feather? Again, if you're not watching live, you could always pause it. And then when you have the answer, you can press play and then get the answer so I don't want to move too quickly for anybody but it seems like uh, right now we don't have too many viewers live so when we when you watch it not live you could always pause it um flock together one of my favorite phrases yes yeah, flock together exactly um actions speak There's three words after this one. Um, actions speak, and then there are three words for this phrase or saying. Louder than words. Actions speak louder than words. Yes, a lot of these are my favorites too. A lot of these are good ones. A lot of these are very, very inspirational and they make sense. Um, that one I never, never heard of this one. I can't even pronounce this one, so I'm just going to skip it. But I didn't even need to tell you. You wouldn't have known because you're not looking at what I'm looking at. Um, all right, so blood is thicker. What is the phrase? Blood is thicker. There's two words after that. Blood is thicker than... No. Not alcohol. It is a liquid, though. It is a liquid. It's not alcohol. Um, it is thicker than water. Than water. Than water. <laughs> but, um, let's see. This one, all right, this one I know. This one I, like, really, really know. I feel like I hope I'm not giving the answers away by going like this. Um, two heads are... What are two heads? What are the phrase when people say, oh, two heads are... When you try to come up with something and you're like, oh, well, two heads are... What is the phrase? Better than one. Yes, Brittany, yes. Better than one. Two heads are better than one. Exactly, exactly. I would like to say, like, it depends, but I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Um, this one I never heard before, but I'm just going to give it a shot because maybe, um, <laughs> maybe um, you guys know it, but good fences make...
Good fences make good neighbors. I never heard of that one. I'm just gonna go that one pretty fast. Uh, you know, figured I would just say it. Again, you could always pause it before the answer's been said, but now you already heard it, so for next time. I'm just gonna skip that one now. All right, so let's see. It takes two to what? It's one word. It takes two to. So it takes two to. I believe it's a dance. I believe. To tango! Yes, it takes two to tango. Exactly, exactly. Um, give credit where? Yes, tango! Tango, exactly. Samantha, exactly. Um, let's see. Give credit where credit, two words, give credit where credit, can we finish the phrase, give credit where credit, yes, give credit when credit is due, yes, um, Let's see. We'll do a few more here. Honesty is... This one's my favorite one. This one's my favorite one. Um, honesty is... It's where where give credit where credit is due but that's all right now honesty is which phrase ends what's the ending phrase of that again this one's my personal favorite The best policy, yes, exactly. Honesty is the best policy. Um, <laughs> the next one, well, we'll do two more, we'll do two more. Um, the next one is money is. Oh, Rich, I say the wrong things all the time too. It's, it's fine. <laughs> I say the wrong words to things all the time, but. So the next phrase is money is, and there is five words after that. So this one's a big one. This one's a big one. So we'll see if we can get it. Again, if you're not watching live, you can always pause it and then come back with the answer. Um, so I'll give a little more hints to this one uh, just as an easier step because there are five words to this ending and there's only two to begin with. So money is the root. And then there are more words after that. So the mo So money is the root. And how can we finish this phrase? Money is the root of all evil, of all evil. And then we're gonna end in this one. We're gonna end in this one here. Um, and it is, uh, all is fair. Very true. 
Very true. The root of all evil. Yes, Brittany, I missed that. Sorry. I'm missing a lot of these. Sorry, guys. All is fair in love and war. Yes. Yes. That is the last one that I have. In love and war. Yes. So hopefully everybody had fun. Hopefully we all got our brains thinking a little bit. And um, again, I hope that you could rewatch this, you know, with your loved ones. And hopefully they'll they'll enjoy it. And it'll be good for them. And uh, good to get moving, thinking about and stuff. And uh, all right. So everyone stay safe. And I'll see you again on Thursday. Hopefully see you soon in person, but I'll see you Thursday. Bye. Thanks, guys, for helping out.